And this time we are diving into the world of SpaceX and their Starship program. Ooh, fun. Which, yeah, it's aiming to eventually shuttle humans to the moon and Mars someday. It is. And their sixth test flight just wrapped up. He had everyone talking. It did. Not only because the rocket, well, you know, it performed well, it did its thing. Right. But it also had a pretty high profile spectator. Oh, yeah. President-elect Trump himself was there. Wow. Ever wondered how faceless AI podcast channels are taking over and making insane money? In this video, I'll show you my second method for creating a successful AI podcast channel. A brand new trick that makes the process faster and more efficient than ever. Stick around to see how you can create high quality content effortlessly. Let's dive in. If you're a pro, you can skip this part. But if you're just starting out like me, stay with me. We'll dive into this together using ChatGPT. Trust me, this section is packed with insights and I'm putting real effort into making it relatable and engaging. So stick around to see how this method can truly help. As a beginner, we don't know about podcast niches. So open ChatGPT and ask for the best niches for podcasts. ChatGPT will provide you with the top niches in this category like true crime, personal finance, travel and adventure, business and entrepreneurship, education and e-learning, etc. You can find more niches on your own by doing deep research. For example, in this video, we are going to create a true crime podcast. I am asking ChatGPT to provide me with some of the latest news about true crime with links. ChatGPT will provide you with the latest updates with links, meaning no need to waste your time finding topics for videos. Now open any link and copy the URL of that website. You can copy the articles too, but the easiest method is to copy the URL. Next, we need to convert this article into podcast audio. For this, open a new tab and search for Notebook LM. Open the first website and click on Try Notebook LM. Make sure to log in with your Google account. Now click on the Create button. Here, you can upload a PDF, text, or audio file, or a website link YouTube video or directly paste the script of your video. But since we already copied the website link, click on the site button, paste the URL and click insert. In a few seconds, this will provide you with a summary of the articles and some suggested questions. But our main focus is deep dive conversation. Before generating, you can customize the audio to add specific sources or important points. After that, simply click on the generate button and wait for a few minutes depending on the length of the articles or script. In my previous video, I already shared this method, but this one is faster, as you'll see in the next steps. Now our podcast conversation is ready. Cold cases, man, they're like uh, puzzles frozen in time, aren't they? Yeah, 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 they are. And you think, oh, the pieces are gone, lost forever, but then suddenly, boom, new technology. So amazing, right? Click on the three dots and download it. Here's a big problem. This conversation is between two people, one male and one female. For the next step, we need to separate these voices. If you try doing this with CapCut or any other video editing software, it will take a lot of time, and sometimes you won't be able to separate the audio properly. So we need a tool that can do this job quickly. Open Spectra Layers 11, which is available for Windows and Mac OS. After opening it, simply drag and drop your audio file into Spectra Layers 11. Now select your audio file by pressing Control plus A, then click on the Modules Cloud button, and next, Click on Unmix Multiple Voices. Next, click on Register Multiple Voices and select the number of voices. We know it's two. Press OK and wait for it to detect the voices. Now you can see Voice 1 and Voice 2. Finally, click on the Apply button and wait for the process to finish. Now close this window. On the right side, you can see in the Layers section Voice 1 and Voice 2. Select Voice 1, go to File, then click on Export Layers and save it. Next, select Voice 2 and do the same. That's all. Now close Spectra Layers 11 and rename the voices such as Male Voice and Female Voice. Before moving to the next step, we need to split this conversation into 5-minute parts because the next AI tool supports only 5 minutes of audio at a time. For example, if the audio is 10 minutes long, divide it into two parts. You can use CapCut or any other tool to do this. Later, you can combine them again to make a 10 minute long audio file. In this section, we'll create an AI podcast studio. For this, you'll need a specific prompt. You can find all the necessary links in the video description. Copy the prompt, 
customize it according to your requirements, or directly paste it into any AI image generation tools like Microsoft Designer, Pikleman AI, Midjourney, or Leonardo AI. Try generating the images two to three times to get the best results. After a few tries, I got an image, but it wasn't of good quality. To fix this, open Crea AI, upload your image, and click on the Enhance button. The enhancer will make your image clearer and give it a more realistic look. Once done, save the enhanced image to your PC. In the next step, we'll convert the podcast image into an AI talking avatar. For this, you can use various AI tools such as Synthesia DID Colossian Hagen Hedra AI. However, I recommend using DupDub AI. Open the DupDub AI website and create a free account. Once logged in, click on the studio button, then select AI avatar. Upload your podcast image. DupDub will detect multiple faces in the image, but since we're using the free version, we can use only one character at a time. First, I select the female character because my audio starts with the female voice. Then I upload the corresponding female voice file and delete the second character. After that, click on Generate Talking Avatar. The rendering will take some time. Once the female avatar is ready, repeat the process for the male character. Click on the new avatar button, upload the image again, select the male character, and upload the male voice file. Click on Generate Talking Avatar and wait for the process to finish. While waiting, you can check out DupDub's Black Friday sales they're offering a 25% discount. Once both the male and female podcast avatars are ready, click on the three dots to download them and save the files to your PC. Now comes the easiest step, editing your AI podcast video. I use CapCut, but you can use any video editing tool of your choice. Import both clips into the timeline. Click on the resize or crop option and select the free crop ratio. I'm keeping the female part first, because the audio starts with the female character. Confirm your selection and adjust both clips to align smoothly. Play and review the clips multiple times to ensure they're seamless. After that, create a compound clip. Next, add captions. Click on Caption, choose a template, and select a trending template that fits your video. Add background music. Include additional clips related to the topic and apply effects as needed. Finally, export your video. And that's it. Your AI podcast video is ready to share. Cold cases, man. They're like uh, puzzles frozen in time, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they are. And you think, oh, the pieces are gone, lost forever. But then suddenly, boom, new technology. It's amazing, right. And suddenly, things start to come together. You start to see the whole picture. And that's what we're looking at today. This case, the 1979 murder of this 17-year-old girl, Esther Gonzalez, in Beaumont, California. Yeah, the Gonzalez case is really, it really shows how far we've come with forensic science, I mean. Mm. Specifically, you know, forensic genealogy, finding answers, even decades later, it's amazing. Right. Now, what's wild is the initial suspect, Louis Randolph, they called him Randy Williamson, he was actually cleared. They used a polygraph. Back then in 79, I guess that was like the gold standard. Right. Yeah, polygraphs. They, they were seen as a lot more reliable back then. I mean, the science, I guess, it, it made sense. They measure things like heart rate and blood pressure. Yeah. While while someone's being questioned, the idea is, you know, those reactions, those those physiological responses, they can tell you if someone's lying. Yeah. But but over time, people started to question them. The science, you know, a lot of scientists were skeptical about how accurate they really are. Huh. Interesting. It's crazy how what used to be like, that's it, case closed, is now. Well, not so much. Like, our understanding changes, the technology changes. Okay, so let's go back. February 1979. Esther's just walking from her parents' house to her sister's place in Banning. Normal, everyday thing. But then she just disappears. Tragic, yeah. Her body, they found it later. Off Highway 243, up in the snow. Blunt force trauma, that's what they said. And, and it looked like she had been sexually assaulted. God, that's awful. So where does this Williamson guy come in? How does he fit into all this? He, he's the one who called the police. Uh. He, he reported finding her body. But the thing is, he was acting really strange when he called. The reports, 
They say he was being really argumentative with the officers, and he couldn't even say for sure if the body was male or female. He couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman? Come on. that's I mean, that's really suspicious, right? Yeah, you would think so.